received no support uh, from that. I, I think Boat has some. Yes, uh, I some do. Oh, I got some leaks for you. Like can't, simple, can't simple break. shit like that. No, nope, oh, simple oh. shit like that. If you need, can't answer I that, public... in, I need to break in because I need more original every week. That's that's a goal. Do you really actually get oh, paid for oh. that? Because you 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 deserve money for that last one. That one I'm was gonna, a fucking uh, thing you said us. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Push to Talk, where I mute everybody and they keep talking. No yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Working as intended. Hey, yes. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, for the big challenges we had in the beginning because I had my sound feed coming in as I watched the show on uh, Imperium Twitch. Um, I was like, holy shit, that sounds like shit. And I'm like, oh, it's me. And so apologize for that, everybody. <laughs> Um, we have, uh, we're supposed to have a couple other people. Uh, it looks like Scythe went to, to take a nap and Bargos will be here as well. We have, uh, Caleb, uh, as you can see on the screen, we have RJ and Mrs. RJ down below in the big screen. You know, that's the whole, uh, oh. they are undergoing the birthing process of the capsuleer as we uh, said in our, uh, our ping. Uh, and it's we have a we got my cloud here. So, Hello. so one of the things we're going to do on the show, we're going to talk about some new things and some other stuff, but and we'll we have some scenes to switch with. But Mrs. RJ is going to try and play Eve. She decided to do this. We're not really sure why. Um, we do expect some heavy marriage counseling bills in their near future uh, as they play <laughs> Eve. specifically because before the show started, RJ said, "Man, I should jump in my uh, my jackdaw and go over and just kill her." Um, so I'm pretty sure somebody's going to get hit sometime or be cut off this weekend. I'm not sure what's going down there. Look at him sneaking his little head in the shot. See, I'm like, I'm liking this. I can just, I can do like, and when she kills something, I can just be like, Dusty! And that's when I can. And then I get... <laughs> that's it. Give him the old, uh, the good old Italian backhand there, <laughs> Miss RJ. Um, she doesn't have a name tag because we don't really know what her new name's going to be. Um, and as uh, most of you know from the Boat Show, we are doing our 24-hour Gamers Outreach uh, charity drive. Uh, for those who don't know, anybody tuning in new, um, they supply software and games to help children in the hospital who are, who are there for a while um, and, uh, you know, brighten up their day, keep them occupied, give them something to do. So that's a charity, I think, that we can all get behind. So, uh, uh-oh. What's your shit? I'm that's, reading that's the chat here. Okay, okay. Uh, I think, I think sure. most of us as gamers will basically be able to say that like gaming is a better th experience and a better thing ah. than just sitting and watching something. I mean, you know, back in my day when I was a kid in the in the hospital, right, get an operation, it was like you had the afternoon soap operas on your TV and that's it. And I'm just like, holy shit, that's terrible. But we yeah, didn't please. Really have video games. Please. I mean, Atari was just coming out. Yeah, exactly. So please, please spare the children that. Yes, yes. So please, please uh, donate. It will come up the uh, the link in the in the chat. Uh, will I think there's a link in the chat, right? That's where we're having a link. If if I'm wrong, Rune Shift or Life Shifter, please let me know. There it is, right there. Yeah. Hey, so, we're gonna we're gonna get her started up and everything. Yep. But you want to go over some of the the rules, I guess. The so rules. so by the way, first I'm opening my Fat Heads Holly Jolly. So I'm starting out the holiday season here in November. Um, so just so you know, holiday charity drive, holiday beer. That's what we're doing. Yay. So, uh, so Mrs. RJ is going to create a character from scratch and she's going to name it and she's going to go through it. We're going to kind of watch it. And if she has questions, she's actually going to ask us. 
And uh, what is going to be interesting to us is why is she asking us any questions? Because the NPE should be answering all this stuff too. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're in Thanksgiving prep, Super Midas. We're getting ready. I don't want to say anything, but if I like carried my cam to my front door, which is just over there off my office, uh, I would note that the uh, the Christmas wreath is already on the door. Um, today we will be getting out the platform for the Christmas tree in the loft, so we are we are ready to go. Thanksgiving is like I don't know a table runner. That's your decorations. What, what the hell do you need for mm-hmm. Thanksgiving beyond a freaking you know I don't know. And it and it's probably going to be Christmas greenery in the middle of your table anyway. I was I always thought that like you know some Americans who you know don't see Thanksgiving in the very traditional kind of oh. sense see Thanksgiving as kind of like a, a, a like a dry run of Christmas. <laughs> well, it's the same dinner. We do the right. same thing twice, right? And hey, uh, Buller Vids, thank you very much for the follow. Since I have the silent follows and and subscriptions by the way feel free get amazon prime subscribe to the channel uh for free with your prime subscription so you can link that up um uh, that's maybe the best defense i've ever heard of thanksgiving to be able to actually get christmas dinner twice (laughs) yeah because that is some some awesome food right so being able to do that twice in a year i definitely support that i think we should have that here as well (laughs) <laughs> like oh, that's actually a really kind of interesting and awesome solution nice. 30 dollars yeah. more toward the charity we do the next stream key giveaway hey uh oh, yeah, yeah, what i don't know it do you want me to run the uh the uh when they give Giveaways? the next 30 dollars to give away or are you guys running that i didn't ask that in the chat beforehand i probably should have but there's so many discords to be in so and, and and DBRB is back asleep because he got up so early. That's all right. I mean, yeah. fuck. Where is he living now? Is he still living in Aussie in Australia? Hey, apparently, Australia apparently, now. I look like a goon. Gooniest of the goons. I, I never. Come on. I, I never Ooh, really. So many goons of different way. shapes, sizes. You it's know, cause... um, you know, ethnicities and stuff like. Everybody looks like a goon. Well, I didn't, you know, I'm probably white and pasty because I didn't get enough sun golfing this summer, so I needed to I needed to, to work hard at that. That's because I'm a dirty high sicker. That's why I don't look like a goon. Dirty high sicker. Hmm. Okay. So what are we gonna what are we gonna go in next? Caleb isn't Caleb isn't a goon, right? You're not a goon, right? Caleb? No, I'm not. Yeah, so, that's why he doesn't look He's like a goon. Not a goon. By the way, time for a beer. Oh look! She's choosing her race. You should have seen the look when it was like the the spaceships uh, screen. She's like, uh, "What do?" It was what like do? super question mark. I was like, "Oh, she'll get it. She'll get it." We it got sun in Vegas. Guide you. Yeah, it, it it didn't guide you to the point of where it's like you had to go and actually hover your mouse over it. So it was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> It, that took a minute to figure out. Uh-huh. Well, somebody says you should be a Mar. That's that's the big thing there. What well, should we should we concentrate on her selecting her 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 race type and 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 why, or should we go uh, on to? Yes, yeah, so let's let's put a lot of emphasis on that because it's really important in the long game. Yeah, let's 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 let's, let's go to the uh, what we call the uh, the RJ feed. We're gonna go. But, by the way, Mrs. RJ, I might be like being massively sarcastic there. We're going to the RJ feed. Look at that. Oh. Big and bold, baby. <laughs> in in UK, they call that speaking. Yeah. Fluffy Leopard said Amar has the prettiest girls. This is where there, there's some there, the there's some lack. There's something very very much missing in 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 the new player experience. There should be a big sign that says none of these choices will matter for anything except oh, cosmetics. Jesus Christ! Oh man, Caleb, you're not supposed to tell her that. No, but I'm supposed <laughs> to tell Stream that. You just told her that. All right, so that's, that's it. One. Yeah, fine, so great. Literally, you can pick right. kind of. We fucked, going, it. We're we fucked back, it all we're up. We're going back to the main. We're going back to the main screen. Like, uh, so she's not again. gonna. We don't get to watch her be frustrated and all mad and try to figure out what the hell she wants to be. We're gonna go to. Hey, you guys. Anybody want to want to guess what I bought at Costco? We're going into the Costco thing. Get that out of the way. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to say 
Would it I'm going to be. Costco? I'm going to say seasonal related stuff. It may be considered seasonal. I'm going to say some sort oh, of God. Christmasy beer. Some kind of. Sherrard's going with a fifty-pound bag of pork rinds. That would. <laughs> I was going to. I was going to go with some random ass pumpkin spice based stuff. Random ass pumpkin it... spice. We got. We got. Oh, I forgot to put in the thing the story the the Mrs. Asmok or Mrs. Eric story that we'll tell later. Um, Twenty yep. gallon jar of mayo. Oh, femur. <laughs> Kid, that'll, I be want, I want, that'll, be, that'll be good for the rest of the year. I want everybody to imagine a a fifty pound bag of pork rinds, and how big that would have to be. Uh-huh. <laughs> like on the big thing. Like if it comes with a, it bacon comes with A's. a to carry it. Like that'd be bacon fucking A's. hilarious. Bacon A's. Bacon, yeah. Okay. Do we do we take enough guesses? Hold on, hold it. Jesus, a big like yeah, a big bag is six ounces. Tub of jelly beans. Oh, that'd be good. Plastic bag, sack, saw, blue. Are are you ready? You guys ready? I'm gonna hold it up. See if it focuses on the camera. You guys ready? Because I I, I saw this walking down the aisle, and I'm like. Oh. I have to buy this. That's to happen. Okay, you ready? It's going to yeah. come up. The Yard O oh. Beef. Hillshire Farm Nerd Summer Yard Sausage. Beef. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it says Yard O Beef. Um, at least, it, at really least looks... it doesn't say a yard of meat. It, 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 just... <laughs> yeah, well, no, that, 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 would be the, that would be the Russian version, the Yard of Meat. Not I'm like, non-descriptive, you it's, know. It's just... I think it's just product. over a foot. I don't know where they get yard o beef. I'm, I'm not sure how they get that. It's it. The reason why they say it's yard o beef is because it's like it, it's this you cannot change. It, <laughs> it's basically taking the piss out of like oh, yard man, that's loud. Because we like in the in the UK you could like in so, in some pubs you can buy a yard of ale. <laughs> sure, are. there is no way. I would love to get the hundred dollars, but there's no way I can eat. Three pounds of freaking summer sausage. Although I do, I do, I do like summer sausage, like cheese crackers. Summer sausage. It's. Uh, no one said you have to swallow. You can just have that. Be That's tough. Be t- I, I am on keto, so I mean it works. It, it'd be it'd be pro keto, right? <laughs> Named by a married <laughs> guy. That's good. That's good. Is she actually going to try and make her character, or is she going to put the randomization Hoobie Doobie? Uh, she just random. We just randomized it, except right. for the name. What, what what did we come up with a name so we all know who to go to high second? Was it kill? was it was it clicking randomization to the point where you like the randomization, or literally just going fuck it, randomize and okay? Because one is not random. <laughs> name her yard of beef. <laughs> So so uh, so we got some uh, we got some big numbers while she uh, she goes and does her thing, right? What do you what do you what are you thinking now, Mrs. RJ? I have no idea what to do next. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's how that's, everyone this feels. Is completely normal. Yeah. <laughs> Earth Vital. It's uh, it's summer sausage, so it's not really protein. It's just really a bunch of fat, which is keto. So. <laughs> gotta love the subtext in this show. Summer sausage, that's the best stuff to have this time of year. It's so yummy. Um I I I I, I just cooked up a bunch of sausage that Scythe gave me. There's supposed to be enough for newbie and hasn't been destroyed. We haven't done anything and nothing's Ooh. came out. Smoke Gouda. Oh hold on, hold on. I I think we've got what what what, what was that? It said the vessel been destroyed, but I'm like nothing even happened. So how is it one moment like? So, so here here's that first confusing thing because as the ship was flying in and the camera was focusing on the ship, there was an explosion in the background, mm-hmm. and question mark, what the hell was that? Because because it's like right now it's just looking at her her friggin' ibis, and now now this is where he's right off the bat second message in we're already like confused. <laughs> Well, we understand why you're confused, but she's smarter than you, so why is she confused? Because I'm, like, I didn't even see the flash in the background. I'm too busy focusing, reading on what's going on over here. That's because it was in front of your ship. It wasn't even in the view. Like, it happened off screen. I know. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) Exceptional. Try finding the record face down the left. 
Mouse. Should we like keep some sort of score on on the amount of times that she's gonna be confused? I swear to God. Oh, oh. follow that ship. Who's that? Oh, what's going on there? So, somebody stringing a chat bubble behind him? Is that like the equivalent of a, you know, a tur a, a a prop plane with a banner behind it? What the hell's going on there? I, I agree oh, with him. I game. think we should, we should make it a drinking game that uh, Eric drinks every time uh, Mrs. RJ is confused. Around. This is there they are. All right. Here's another problem. This right here is totally blocking what she's trying to freaking click on. So the, the UI is actually fighting against her. <laughs> awesome. <gasps> oh, man. Awesome. Okay, you know... Sorry, you need to have a new Korean mentality in order to do the uh, um, yeah. the new player experience properly. This is killing her. She'll figure it out. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I, I have every confidence that she'll figure it out. It's just, you know, how long. Oh, God. I love that. That's always the thing. X, what was it? XYZ? XYZ? Or I don't, I'm sorry. I'm butchering your name, but it takes PV to the new level. Even the UI fights you. <laughs> <laughs> I really actually want to eat some of that summer sausage, but I don't want to go through the effort to get through the, uh, you know, the tons of wrapping around it, right? So, you're you're doing really well. This is... I think you want to play this game a little more, don't you? Let's put it this way. I had multiple tries of the... Uh, I had multiple, um, like, trial, like, seven-day trial membership things before I actually kind of got hooked on playing EVE. So, so I played yeah. it for six months, and what I did mostly was fly around high sec, try and mine, and... Um, keep my skill queue filled because that's back in the days of the 24 hour skill queue. Ah. So before work every morning, log in, do the skill queue, log out. Right. It was great because didn't have a lot of time to play. Just keeping that. And that's back in the learning skill days too. Right. So yes, the learning skills, yeah. first thing that you do, right. So that you learn faster oh. and then, Oh, oh. somebody's getting oh. shot. You're going to die. Um, right. What? Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go. I'm ahead. confused for you. This so don't worry. No, not, not that. This. It's like that. <laughs> Audio is cutting out? Yeah, on, on your side, your, your side, uh, RJ. Uh, it's it's just the push talk. <laughs> so um, so we we had some interesting numbers this morning. Uh, after uh, PA and CCP were pushing the uh, pushing the envelope. Ah yes. Um, you know uh, we had a lot of a lot of big signups this morning or today. You might want to put it in context, right? <laughs> So we had the release of the uh, Korean localization, right? Yeah, mm. and the big uh, G-Star event, uh, including keynotes that were not actually recorded. But uh, aside from that, <laughs> all, apparently all it was fairly successful. And uh, a lot of Koreans are now uh, joining the game, and we are seeing an uptick of almost triple the normal number of uh, players created. I think the, uh, the number is an hour after downtime, right? 30,000? Concurrent? Yeah. So that is a very, very, very good thing. Yeah, and, and, and the birthing numbers uh, of new players were yeah. all the way up to 11,000 from a normal of about three to 4,000. So oh. really, really a lot of uh, people seem to have picked up uh, EVE Online in Korea and trying it out. Did I, Which is nice. Did I miss the uh, $30 donation from Black Aces? Or twenty dollar no. donation. Thank you very much, Black Aces. That's awesome. Cheers, dude. Absolutely. That brings us. What is it? Ten dollars away from another giveaway, and yeah. and sixty dollars away from our first bigger giveaway. Because if we get to two hundred and fifty dollars uh, this hour, 
Um, so, we give away some INN swag gear or something, a shirt or something. Uh, some some actual physical stuff. Real stuff. Real stuff, yeah. And if you guys can pump those numbers up to five hundred dollars this 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 time, you know, look at her. Look, look. At, then you, then you know Eric what? will give you a special something. No, the the, the, the five hundred <laughs> mark is, is is good stuff. Ten more, and we get a stream oh, key okay. giveaway. Yeah. Look at this, I, Mrs. RJ. You're usually so happy and smiling, and you're not smiling right now. What's going on? Because it like. <sighs> this is why people quit the game early. <laughs> on. This is why they quit. And we make it any dumber. She's getting killed by a missile boat, too. That's really sad. Yeah. So you want a hint, Mr. Yeah. Roger? I have no idea because I can't read your screen. Here, I'm, but... I'll give it a hint. So, see, this is what happens when the community comes in and actually helps new players. So click on that. You're now shooting that. See how it's cycling? Okay, you're auto-firing right now. You want to actually track and look at that guy? Come over here and click this eyeball, all right? Now you're actually going to look at what you're shooting at. And the, here's actually your damage coming on. This is how much damage in blue you're applying to this guy. Now he's going to go boom because you just whooped his ass. Watch pretty explosion. Time Ooh. now. Ooh. Wow. That's what hey. happens when the community comes in and actually helps. The MPE, man, come on. That's why you're losing players, dudes. <laughs> Let the community help the community. But see, like over here it's saying locate your home station in space in your overview. Nothing at all has ever said to my right that this is my overview. Except for this yeah. little this little thing, this little confusing thing right here. But it's never did an introduction saying, this is your overview. This is this. Da, 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 da. Nothing has ever like stated anything like that. Except this little pop-up box over here says overview window. But it's never stated this is where you do da 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 da, da. Nothing. My favorite That's is... Like when I had a seat, one of the guys that worked for me, he's seasoned okay, so, PVP or in many games, uh, you know, and uh, right, right click on it. This is sorry, that's okay. Just, I'm gonna try and like whisper as much as I can. Okay, and we were doing Burn Jita, and he's like, I'm not getting in on any of the kill mails. He wasn't loading his guns, <laughs> yeah, classic. Well, that's the other thing, right? You know, the, the first gun that you actually experience as, as like a new player is a gun that doesn't require ammo. So like your your first instinct when you come like past yeah. that is that guns don't require ammo. So, you know, there's no reason for you to think, "Oh, I need to uh, I need ammo for my guns because, you know, the the your your first instinct and how the game has kind of taught you to sort of think about guns is guns don't require ammo." You know? So this was the first avoidance of an uninstall, right? Was it? Yeah. yeah. I think it was. I think RJ just yeah. uh, saved yeah. it. Yeah. So like I, like I said in past streams or whatever, instead of throwing them into this NP, have corporations or alliances sponsored to welcome new players in and actually teach them how to play the game. I wouldn't sponsor them. Okay. I'd just say, get your ass Actually, you know, you know what? Good. Instead of funneling I'm them into some bullshit fake NPC corp. I, I know I know this is I know this is like, you know, like, you know, um trying to trying to like trying to close the door when the when the horse is bolted already, right? But the same way that um the same way that Facebook made uh the same way that uh Mark Zuckerberg made Facebook seem really, really prestigious by making it invite only, right? Would you? Would it be better to actually make Eve invite only, even if it's free to play? But you need an invite in order to actually log in and actually make oh, an account. An actual and then section. those the people who are invited oh, by no way. by certain people end up being mental. Like those people are the are are like you know the mentors for the new people coming in using their invites. Well, I think I think the alternative is to actually make uh, the recruitment thing part of uh, the character creation, right? So you pretty much get a chance to see, say, player uh, to player recruitment uh, ads before you actually log into the game, and then some will have a lower bar than others, and you can pretty much 
choose them. I just think that they should get rid of the NPC cult entirely. Oh, I got to give a shout out. I didn't see newbie because I'm off screen right now. Yeah, I'll get yeah. her in a T Jack day by the end of the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey man, you got to get your B man. They're gonna kill your B, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, I obviously I don't run a fucking business, newbie. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Shit happens. So, Newbie was invited out again this weekend. He punted. We'll see if he makes it next weekend. Or Thanksgiving. Because I've got beer, Newbie. But this ties into the whole problem with the current ecosystem of the game, right? That the feeder corpse uh, of Null has gro grown so big that it's actually detrimental to the game and it's undermining it. What's needed is that high sec becomes more potentially valuable and interesting. So there's an incentive to have not even feeder corps, but actually active corps represent represented in high sec, right? Thank you. Thank you. You're gonna get into a divot. Sorry. <laughs> Where's the anti hate, Sadis? I, I, did I miss it, or was I just like concentrating on drinking beer and thinking about that yard of beef over to the side here? Uh, and, and hey, when I say feed into a corp, I don't say to null sec. I say to high sec. I say to low sec. I say to anywhere. It's to have the it's just some community help newbies. I mean, come on, not not newbies as in b e e s, but it's not null sec. Hey, it's the it's the fact that because we had all these changes over the past seven years, the feeder corps became the only real place to have proper player retention because everyone that that started out in high sec they mostly left the game eventually, right? There, there was nothing to really do there. Forming uh, small groups by yourself and, and starting corps up from scratch was completely worthless. So I need to respond to Total Newbie, all right? Because I don't really understand the nature of his comment. Is, I mean, what's going on there? Who? Newbie, look at Newbie's content. What you need to do, I mean, think about that. I'm not sure what he's saying. Mrs. Mrs. RJ, can you help me with that? Because that sounds a little strange. What you need to do and get your... Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ooh. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not get into that one. That's you guys. <laughs> I can't read another screen, so I don't know what's going on. No, I'm reading up here. I'm reading chat. <laughs> there you go, Sharar. So here's another thing that could help. You know, if they wanted to keep this current MPE, is say, hey, bring up this this little thing right here, this little tactical view, because it'll help orient you. Yeah, press that button. Oh, look, now you actually have distances and what these guys are doing around the center of your ship. Like, there's five kilometers, ten kilometers, twenty, so on and so forth. Because, like, I think one of the biggest issues with this is disorientation. Oh, complete. Because you don't know how to how to navigate around, you don't. So like when you see when you moused over that in this tactical view, now you see the ranges and fall offs for your guns in space or your gunna. And now you appreciate your carrier more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sc <laughs> screaming! No, screaming the, PC as a paid eve guide service for new players. Oh, Approach it. Okay, so you are so zoom zoom in on your ship. So you are you're just in this end. You're so right now you are endless loop of just kind of circling right now. So you are approaching the ship. So even if you can say click this, this guy. What, this one. Oh, now you're targeting him. Uh, or whatever. Okay, so that did it. Apparently, targeting does it. Mm. Yeah, what's fall off? Good apex. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So, while they do that, yeah, and it was tanking so well. Yeah, well, you know, they're 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 gimped. So you targeted it. When you click that, you didn't have to target it. As soon as you click something. It set up your weapon to do that. That's a trick to be. It's an unexplained but... thing of Eve. Well, did, didn't it also just kill a drifter? I don't think I've seen an Eve e do that either. So did I? Well, it's final. Of, it... Lock target. Final Praetorian. I just I just picked something new for today because I wanted something new for the. Uh, we don't normally do. 
You know, say this. I wanted to go back and play but WoW, and I, I just can't bring myself to do it. I am better at where everything is. I am having fun, but we yeah. are. That's where he is. Flat plane. Can, can we stay on the topic of the fact that they start by teaching players that uh, an Ibis can actually attack and kill a Drifter? Oh Jesus! <laughs> I just, I just. Yeah, think let, that let's that not go into a, that. That's just the main that. thing go. that when this whole NPE came out, and I saw that, it was like. Why did they do that? That's like that's like starting your one level no, no, character it, you, killing a fucking end level. You know what it, you, like, you what know what is it is. This? You know what it, it's it's to give you it's it's to give someone a sense of being able to achieve something mighty and amazing. But the fact of the matter is, they don't know that a drifter is like some ridiculous end level kind of thing. So they don't know whether that's actually a massive thing or not. They just think it's normal. But, but the tragedy is that in it's other a, games, in other games, when you do something like this in 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 the early uh, parts of the game, you you basically put them in this overpowered end level gear and then strips it and yeah, then gives you they, the, the new character. They, right here, you don't even do thing, that. You 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 kill the dragon with the rusty knife. It's like what the fuck is this? No, but but it works in other games because you you you. You get the sense of scale, and with the sense of scale, you get a sense of power. So you see a massive dragon, and you're just like a normal person. You think, you know, you're there to think it's a fucking dragon. It's going to fucking destroy me kind of thing. So when you get to kill it, you do get that sense of accomplishment. You don't have that idea of scale in Eve. You don't have the idea of, like, this massive ship that is massively powerful gonna, against my tiny little ship. I'm going like, to show you how, that. how good this is right now. Um, I used to be a flight instructor, and I haven't pulled this out my pointer in forever in a long time <laughs> so so, so we're going to just no, that's take good. that that's good. That's good. we're going to take that in sound bite only later on we're going to yank yep. that out yep. of here not even with the visual that you pulled that thing out and we're just going to let people just from a sound standpoint make what they will for that yeah not oh, did we get a steam key giveaway sound. you don't need like... boxes flying around you got one of these so, uh, at the halfway point in the show, I want to remind everybody that we have a special edition of. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... Oh, I, I do. I I I do, Sekanda. I do. Those two things you killed. So, um, I want to remind everybody here that we have a special edition of the Open Com Show coming up next. So that should be great to watch. Um, special edition. <gasps> special edition. It's a Saturday edition of Open uh -huh. Comms coming next. We are still ten dollars away from the next stream key giveaway. So mm. if we get somebody up there with ten dollars and sixty dollars from a major giveaway, so that's a big Ooh. deal. So if we can get that door in yeah. this show, that would be awesome. Again, for that, those that, just tuning in, yeah. this is for the uh, the Gamers Outreach Foundation, which yeah, brings charity. video games charity to uh, to folks. Um, to kids who are in the hospital, yeah. you know, so yeah, definitely that, good charity. So, yeah, we're not we're not asking for donations. So to, to to for our alcohol fund, this is literally to help you know kids in hospitals. Yeah. So and by the way, let's talk about su pseudo coder over there. Uh, her face mm. is changing slowly from angry to mildly confused. Let's put it this way: <laughs> we have been on this stream probably for two hours prior to this show, setting some of this stuff up and things like that. And normally, Mrs. RJ is smiling. She's very happy. She's she's fun. <laughs> this is not something I'm used to, so it's kind of scary. I'm going to unmute them. Well, I don't think Eve is really, in the, really sort of anything anybody's used to at the start, so... <laughs> you know? <laughs> she's not happy yet. <laughs> What? Yeah, because you quit. That's when you'll be happy again. I was talking so while well, I had you muted, I didn't know if you could hear oh me. My I got a salute for you. But I was me. but I was talking about how I usually see you and you're smiling. Yes. And that's so, really not the case right yeah, now. Loot all or I right. don't like this level of frustration. It's just the way it's Dude. being explained right now. It's kinda Does um does anybody do a casual pastime not to be happy? I just want to ask. Can we just point out that I think recently in the CCP narrative, we were told that Eve was not a game. It, it was real and that it makes people happy. I'm not seeing happy right now. No. 
Look, by the way, can I take one moment to uh, to do some self promoting? Eve, Eve is about climbing a, 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 a mountain in Iceland, right? You're not happy when you're in the middle of climbing the mountain in Iceland. You're happy when you get to the top and go, thank fuck that's over. So it's like a pilgrimage. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess you can say that's a sort of... Barefooted on lava rock. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, we get it. That's a good analogy. That's, that's so what, like, what, what you what what we oh, seem sorry. to be missing is the uh, is the oh, sudden sorry. sudden you know oh, dopamine oh, surge oh, that basically oh, gives us a high. The UI scale can get changed. So so here's where I talk about um, very soon here oh, after this weekend get sometime. Get escape from me. And and this will you know elicit jeers from Total Newbie because I'm going to say high sec. We want to we want to burn some parts of high sec. So if you want to burn some parts of high sec, thank you. And your and your goonish or even kind of non goonish, hit me up in Jabber or Discord and you know say hey I want to be part of the party, making puppies cry and you know we'll do that. I closed the wall. I did. So I closed it. Open it. Oh, you just minimized it. So open it. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <See? laughs> You 30, can't hit the icon is closing it. No. 30, 37 minutes in learn even chill and we're already wanting to get out of here. <laughs> learning and chilling. I'm just waiting for the first F bomb. Anybody who who in the audience is waiting for the first F bomb? Anyone? Bueller? <laughs> oh, I was like I'm biting my lip and everything, trying not to curse. Hey, there's two <laughs> things in my life that I've begged my wife to do and she's absolutely said no. And it's not what any of you think. One is play <laughs> Eve. And she really? said, fuck no. She said yes to that. And I keep saying, you know, please come out and play golf. And she goes, that's like fucking playing Eve. No. So. <laughs> really? Really? I, really? I love going to the driving range. The driving range is not playing golf. You got to come. Everybody's come a here. pro. Uh, Everybody's a pro. They got a top golf range. 10 minutes away, man. You want to come down here? You if I could golf. play around to golf the way I play the driving range, I'd be fucking... Mickelson. I so. played golf in high school, but I haven't played since then. There you go. Well, you know, you come up here, Mrs. RJ. I'll take you golfing. What's Crazy Aura wants you to do now? He was the purest immersion of the heroic oh. epic. Oh. Oh you need to go and destroy people. So you need to go it sounds like it so, sounds like the E version yeah. of like Crazy oh, you're, Aura. You're, you're, you warped to a site and it didn't even tell you to forget to a site. Like, at least it missed it or whatever. It wasn't very obvious. Tower structure. So this is where you get in and orbit orbiting around, like actually dragging in the screen with your uh, left mouse button holding and dragging around. That actually will change your view orientation to actually see what the hell you're doing instead of just looking in space. So here, this is you are now in what a you site. saw where this was though. Yeah. This was like over this. Yeah. So like, uh, you think yeah. I need to do something here? So it's like one of those things where it's not even kind of told is you got to drag in here and actually drag around to change your view orientation to see this. And this stuff isn't going to be in the rest of the game. Once MPE is over, this stuff disappears. So. What is that? So you need to destroy them. So that's very vague. Okay, so destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> Number one problem, camera. Just destroy it. Oh, destroy camera's it. always been a problem. It's always been a weird thing that you've had lock, to do. You either yeah. do you do it this way or this way. All this stuff is right here. You know, and, and it just kind of hit me now. I never really thought of it. Sorry. Sorry. But so many of the other games that we play, you third person view is just kind of you float behind your character, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you in your in first person view quite often. But when you Eve orientate like yourself, so, but when you orientate yourself, the camera moves with it. Right. And Eve is just not like that. It's very different, right? Again. Very different, yeah. And and you don't have you don't have a crosshairs that you have to move on your screen to aim to shoot somebody, right? I've yeah. even actually actually to be, to be fair, like I, I've even said something very similar uh, with regards to um, Eve Aether Wars. In actual fact, mm. like mm. that the 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 way that the camera moves like independently of the actual the orientation of the ship I get a is very Eve like. Injection. You get a special really? what? Say that again. Newbie. 
No one likes him. Don't worry about no, it. You know, because hey. if he was on the comms right now, uh, he, You know what? He could be on the comms, but he left the Discord, so I don't know what's going on. Oh. Aww. So, what? um... So, do uh, do do helmets helmets scare him? I'm gonna I'm gonna give my last Eric story of the day. So we had a we had a we had a fun time because because it, you know Mrs. Eric is is a, is a funny girl. She's she's first time funny. press F one. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna mute the F one people again. <laughs> so so this morning, you know, F1 monkey. This is, it, that there should be an achievement which literally F1 picks monkey. things up when you do that. That says. F1, F1, mon monkey. F1 monkey achievement achieved. So, so Mrs. Eric walks by my office door over here to the right, uh, and she comes in. She goes, hey, 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 you know, I made coffee. It's brewing. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. And she goes out the door because she's going to run early in the morning. And I go over, and I get some coffee, and I put some coffee creamer in it, and I come in here, and I drink it all. A little bit later, Mrs. Eric comes back, and we're, we're all in the kitchen hanging out. And uh, she goes, hey, what's this? And she shows me a coffee cup, okay? And it's just got clear water in it. I said, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm not playing a trick on you. Nothing going on, right? So she, she goes, and by the way, she's short, so she has to get on her tippy toes to look in the coffee filter. Right, so she's looking over the coffee mm -hmm. filter, and she goes, okay. and she just starts laughing, and she just hides her head in her face. She's leaning on the counter, on her elbow, hanging down there, laughing her ass off. She didn't put any coffee in the coffee maker today, and just brewed hot water. Oh, nice! Now you all think this is a story about Mrs. Eric messing up, but it's not. Remember, I already <laughs> have a you cup of coffee. This. And I poured the coffee into a black coffee mug, so I don't know. I, I just see black, right? And then I went and got my Reese's Peanut Butter Cup creamer, poured that in, brought it in my office here, started prepping for the show. I'm drinking my coffee. I'm like, this coffee tastes pretty good. It's good coffee today. She did a good job, right? <laughs> Half an hour later, we're in the kitchen, right? And I'm sitting there going... You coffee know, honey, you made was really nice. Yeah, like, sorry, like, you know, honey, contained you feel, zero coffee. <laughs> you feel really dumb right now, but I just had a cup of coffee a half an hour ago, and I didn't even notice. It was hot water and Reese's peanut butter cup creamer, and I'm sitting there going, you know, do you Not think bad. Eric puts a little bit of Reese's peanut butter cup creamer in his coffee? <laughs> that, is, that, that explains so much. <laughs> I was sitting there going, it's awesome. So, yeah, coffee zero. You got it, Incubus. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, and by the way, that's Scythe's uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup creamer um, because he left it here when he was here last weekend, so I'm, I'm drinking it now. It's but, like, it's now mine. Yeah, Let's check in with Mrs. Eric, or Mrs. Mrs. RJ. See how she's doing. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing over there? Like, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? What's going on now? I see a lot of space, but nothing going on there. Well, uh, because I just finished uh, doing skills training. Ooh, uh -huh. you got a skill. Oh, somebody said you smiled. Oh. They can't believe it. First smile of the day. First smile of the day, in, in, you know, inclusive of you know a skill, skill training completion. I'm getting a little See? upset with our audience. We can't get ten dollars. We got twenty dollars. Can't get another ten dollars so they can get a freaking somebody can win a game key. Isn't that what we win? Life shifter. Isn't that what I they win? Got, they win a I some we got game. Past the game key. Mm -mm. Not only do they not not only do they have a chance of winning a game key, but they also get to actually be a decent decent person and help a kid. I mm. am. Uh, I'm on beer number two, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really like I, I like holiday beers. I generally do not like like October festy type beers, but Christmas beers I like for some reason. Oh, hmm. oh Final Pre Tour brought a brand new car. He's broken until Friday. What, did you buy like a cool car? What'd you, what'd you get, man? So another way to do this: Control and left click, it's lock. That's it. These control. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm totally using the pointer. 
By the Ooh. way, did you tell her that she needs pa five paps a month? Yeah. Pap smears. <laughs> okay, good. Calls them pap smears. Five pap smears. Five pap smears a month. That's I, we might have gone over the line with that one. I'm not sure. Audience, what do you what do you guys think? Well, I mean, I mean, she did birth a capsuleer live on TV. Birth him. Yeah, birth live. Him. We birthed the capsuleer for you. CCP, you should be paying attention to this whole doing, show. Doing it live. <laughs> sure are. <laughs> I'm hinting at RJ. She's hinting at I'm, RJ. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know where he's getting that. Done line. birthing. No, hey. Oh. I, out know. of order. Factory shut down. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not going to go into it, but the conversation we had earlier was hilarious. And sorry, we're just going to tease the fuck out of the audience. You don't get to hear about it. Yep. Oh, oh they said a little friggin' Not type birthing? Guy. Oh. Well, the other one's not done yet. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. ability to guilt people into ten dollars isn't working. Is it? They're gone. They turn into Rex. Oh, so well, we the, could the have ten one dollar donations. Shooting you? It's red boxing you. That's that's you need to kill. Oh, this one's out. Do you it's know what red boxing means? Yeah, I'm using I'm using lingo. So you see how there's a little flashy red box around him? That means he's actively targeting and shooting you. If he was just yellow boxing, that means he's just Targeting. Yeah. See, now you're going to orbit him. So, uh, McLeod. You need to mm -hmm. Caleb, is there anything going on in EVE? Anybody blowing anybody up? Anybody yeah, fighting? Any giant war? Well, I mean, well, NCPL has gone to sort of harass. Oh, NCPL target. and Tri have kind of gone, I think, him, uh, right? to harass... Yeah. Uh, like darkness up north. No, I wasn't. <laughs> like other than that, like not step. too much. Like, you know, Goont had a bit of a uh, a bit of a dread bomb fail sort of thing. Uh, the other day, like that see on that's kind of produced a bit of drama, but you know, so as is like always the, the case, the there's two sides to that particular story. It's like that CCP meme with the stick poking and going, "Please do something." Yeah. Hmm. Strange CCP message. What's what's that mean, Pink uh, Fat Rabbit? Well, there is one oh, piece of news yeah. that I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah. The fact mm -hmm. that uh, CCP is kind of vague posted about the fact that they might put Echoes on other platforms. Whether that includes consoles and PC, I don't know. But it definitely sounds uh, intriguing. Hmm. Do you think that, that has anything to do, and I'm quite serious here, with people saying... It's really hard to play that on my phone. It's kind of small. Maybe, but it, I, I think it's also got to do it's with a, the fact that so many people might actually eventually start playing it on emulators anyways, so why not just <laughs> open it up, right? Just, just it's it it's kind of dumb actual... to have this uh, gate between uh, a gamer uh, in the form of an emulator when you should just make emulator. it possible to play it. I mean, not, yeah, completely agree there. Hmm. Well, we we were introduced to uh, Echoes by um, was it Victor or Araya that did the um, streaming in uh, Discord from uh, his emulator. Yeah, good point actually. And 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 it's just it's just so cool, right? Because you can do so many other things, like uh, an easy way of actually being able to stream your your gameplay. Mm -hmm. So to get the full experience of, of EVE Online, so many things need to be added, in my opinion, that has to do with the meta play, right? Um, also, I hope that they add some sort of uh, standalone platform for communications like that. Because otherwise, people will just start using things like Discord uh, only, right? And then you're just slowly moving all communications out of the client. It's going to widen. You see, there's your order. Oh, Noisy killed a tornado in Echoes. That's interesting. It's harder to track closer. Hey, not bad. Fly with a I'm kind of all for anything that oh, yeah. gets more people into EVE. Exactly. I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of cool. I mean, it's amazing how clear a picture oh, and things you can get on hard. your phone. You try and have a battle. Yeah, it looks really fucking good. good. Yeah. Just fly with a By the way, guys, we are going to end exactly on time so we can make sure that Open Comms has uh, ample lead in time. For those who joined us late, um, we are taking donations for the. Uh, 
Gamers Outreach Charity Drive. Gamers Outreach is a yep. foundation that provides uh, computer games and software to children in the hospital who are there for long-term care. Um, so, you know, please, uh, the link should pop up every so often in our streamer chat to go donate. Um, if not, you can scroll up for it. Um, I'm sure somebody can link it in there for us. Um, but please donate. We are $10 away from the next... Um, uh, giveaway of some gaming software. So if we get that before the end of the show in the next uh, nine minutes, uh, we will give something away. Otherwise, uh, we got nothing to do. We can't do anything. I can't just magically make it happen. There's rules. There's rules. Oh, no, somebody's warping. There's there's warping. There's warping. Warping, going on. warping, That's warping. So we're going to take, um, take the last five minutes of the show, and we're going to get some... Uh, some feedback from Mrs. RJ on her experience here for her first hour of playing EVE Online. Um, you know, the, the first burning question I will tell you all that she had that she was trying to beat out of us in the pre-show was uh, which race she should pick. And it was, we were evading that question and Caleb let the cat out of the bag in the first two minutes of the show. We were going to make her... We're going to make her worry about that a little longer, but not Caleb. No, no. Just because it's so annoying that they don't put it up there in clear text, just telling us from the beginning that it doesn't matter because it's always going to confuse people. Yeah, Nightmare says uh, she was more productive than he was his first hour of Eve. Yeah, but there were certain pitfalls in here where I was like, yeah, dude, you need because it totally didn't tell you to do that. By the way, I had somebody on the phone telling me exactly what to do when I was playing the first time. Otherwise, I would have just like and, said. And that was the same with me. Someone actually like introduced me to Eve and showed me how to do shit. So that's a big difference. And here I am almost 11 years later. Yeah, in 2006, mm -hmm. there really wasn't much new player experience going on. That was, that was back with the learning, learning skills. You got to learn skills. before you can actually play. Well, they just made you train I, I, faster, right? Yeah, but it's like you got to do that, and you know, you spend what was it like a month, month and a half, almost trying to train them shits up. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if any of you guys have experienced trying to uh, troubleshoot your uh, an issue that you've had with Windows, with Windows's automatic kind of you know um, issue solving kind of uh, website before, but uh, even Windows, even Microsoft can't do automatic um troubleshooting automatic kind of uh essentially i've yet to find a single system that is basically just like an automatic system or like a a, a set of like predefined kind of um answers that actually help somebody who has an issue with anything honestly um, so the idea of a tutorial system that's automatic, that helps people, um, aside from the absolute basics, like the absolute basics, and I mean, like literally telling people, you know, the things that hasn't actually been told to Mrs. RJ, like, you know, what an overview is, why an overview is important, you know, what the, what the thing, what the UI elements that you're looking at are what your orientation in the world is kind of thing like that kind of stuff yeah totally totally fine for the new player experience a new, so new player kind of thing or like getting them to do stuff yeah. and like Light. teaching them why or something's important why something's not Light. like you need actual people to tell people <laughs> these sorts of things final praetorian i think she was Light. bored of it in the first five minutes look at that i mean I want you all. Let's 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 bring in the feed here. Let's. I want I want to be clear here. This is not a happy person. <laughs> we love her. She's a very nice lady. But if Hilmar were sitting next to her, she'd give him the Italian backhand. You know she would. I I think I think the thing is if you brought if you're born in Iceland and you're brought up in Iceland and you know nothing but Iceland. Iceland isn't frustrating, but if you're so, born in like California, Iceland is pretty. Tell your tell your shit. moment of confusion here. What what were you just looking at that was confusing? Because you're like, what the? the Actually, oh, we're in the we're in the last five minutes, so oh. let's just hear from Mrs. RJ and her whole experience. Go ahead. 
Yeah, since we're dogs, well, the good point. fact that I just looked at the overview to the right, and there was all these different languages. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, how about this? Let's do it this way. First minute in. First minute in. What was that like? More like the yeah first thirty seconds when it went to after I clicked Caldari and then it like was a screen of the ships. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Had didn't tell me that I'm supposed to like hover over the ships and explain what you know. So it has an ex explanation of each ship, and then it doesn't tell you to go to the next tab up above at the top screen. So how about this? When you first got into the ship, how was that? Like when the ship first appeared, and you're out in space, how did that feel? I don't even recall when I'm first in the ship because it was lost. I was lost the whole entire time. You kind of feel like the the visual experience was better than the experience, like the audible experience of explaining stuff to you, or was it? You know, was it better in the audio or the video? Like, or was it just in general compared compared to like other games? Was it just you know the so entire hard? thing is a Shit show. The entire thing is a shit show because <laughs> there's stuff going on in the screen, but I can't even see what's going on because I'm too busy reading the box in the top left corner. So, and trying to figure out where do you want me to go? Like, what do you want me to click on? Like, it's it was a horrible experience. So it's like it's like all, all the all the help and all the, like the the uh, the explanation stuff is. Like squirreled away in like little areas of the, the screen. That we have like, raised two hundred and ten dollars. We need to we need to do a giveaway. Oh shit! Okay. Do I when do the giveaway or life shifter? Do you or do you guys do the do the giveaway? Everybody gets a chance who's in the stream. Yeah. All right, RuneShift Game is going to do it for us. Yeah, we are at two hundred and ten. We're going to give away a game. Yay! So thank you. Thank you, thank you to our folks for at least uh, reaching one of the milestones. That is fantastic. If we, in oh, the yeah. next two minutes, get 40 more dollars, some INN swag gets going your way. Somebody. There are, there, there is two giveaways. Someone unlocked one. Who's gonna so win? if anybody wants to notice, she's playing with her wedding ring right now. That means she's pissed off. Uh, <laughs> say ticket, bang ticket. So exclamation mark ticket to buy one ticket. There's no cost. It's all free. So if you're in the stream paying a modicum of attention, please. Get oh, your newbie ticket. just like burned you. Oh, what he do you does. Yeah, oh. yeah, if we he wants him. to do that for real, he could actually get on comms for once. <gasps> <gasps> Get your ticket. Second giveaway will be with the Open Com Show. So one ticket here, one ticket for the start of the next show. And happy mm. about our marriage and not Eve. Oh, Sharar's burning your ass. Oh, Sharar. Burning it. Burn. Woo. Oh. All right, guys. Let's get that giveaway going. As soon as we get who won, uh, we are throwing it to the Open Com Show. I'm not going to do my outro. I'm just going to go right to the end. Get those tickets. Get those tickets. Three, two, one. It's all over. We got it. Let's see who wins. All right. Mad Whack King won the giveaway. He had a 5.8. That's a pretty good chance. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Thank you, RuneShift, for doing that. Thank you, everybody who donated. Thank you for everybody who followed. Thank you for everybody who subbed during the show. We are going to throw it to the Open Com Show. Thank you, Mrs. RJ, for for being, and I don't mean this Sport. negatively, our, our lab rat for the day and trying hey, hey. to be I hope you stick with Eve. I look, to see, look forward to seeing you in the game. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, everybody who was on the show. And we are out of here. Open Comms is up next. It's a full day of streaming for 24 hours here on INN. Please stay with us as we do things. In the Meta Show, I'm going to hype it now. Meta Show, 
It's going to be really, <laughs> really interesting. You don't want to miss it at 4 o'clock Eastern. Later. No, no, no. Everybody say bye. 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 bye.